Hi everyone, before we go into the podcast, I just wanted to say thank you so much for listening to this podcast. I'm super grateful for your continued loyalty and support. If you could do me a quick favour, if you could give me a review on Apple Podcasts, it really helps the algorithm and it will help this podcast go up the lists. If there are any subjects or topics that you want me to cover, uh, then please do reach out to me on a DM on LinkedIn and I will do my best to find the best guest for that subject or topic. This is the Absolute Business Mindset Podcast, created and hosted by Mark Hayward. This is a podcast that will give you insight into business. I will share my thoughts, my ideas from content leaders and experiences from my life. And I hope you'll have a few aha moments on this journey. Today, I'm going to talk about being a podcast guest and being a podcaster. So I've been asked recently a couple of times that why should people be a podcast guest or be a podcaster? So we're going to take it into two separate points. The first point is being a podcast guest. So what you'll find is that if you... Uh, decide that you want to be a uh, podcast guest you can create a global experience and exposure to different markets so you can be a guest on multiple podcasts you can get access to audiences that you wouldn't normally get to you can be exposed to a global market and what we call the google effect which is when you build up a bank of podcasts that you've got on your uh, on your website or or on Google, when people search for you when they're trying to find out more about you, they'll be able to see a bank full of podcasts with all your expertise, all your knowledge, all your authority on different subjects, and people can get to know you by listening to a few of those podcasts. This has been tremendously successful for my business partner uh, George McGarren, who had one business because he was on lots of podcasts and people built up an understanding and a thought process that what he could offer and what he, how he does things equally you can you can great create brand loyalty so podcast listeners are loyal and they will have a greater interaction with you and your business uh, than people who are just finding you on google or on other places so we match so in my business podcast introduction group we match guests with podcasts to be able to grow the guests exposure to new new business and new audiences and there is a there is a direct correlation between being able to generate more income by growing your business by being on a podcast it can accelerate your online presence and attract more clients more high quality clients to your business so why i'm telling you this well As I alluded to a little bit earlier on, I run a business called Podcast Introduction Group. And what you'll find is that if you go on to uh, podcastintroduction.com, you can register on the website and we can then arrange for you 24 or 48 uh, podcasts in one year. This is all done on a, on a, um, on a position where you do very little. We match you with the right podcasts and get you uh, in front of the right podcasters to be able to create great brand loyalty, great exposure, the Google effect. So this is why I'm talking to you today. So if you go onto that website, go down and, uh, and register with us for a free consultation. Uh, one of my sales team will come and well, actually my business partner, George will come and speak to you and explain what, uh, the explaining more detail of what our offering is. So please don't forget that if you're interested in being a guest, then go on to podcast introduction, uh, com. And then the second point was, why would you be a podcaster? Well, to be a podcaster does take a lot more effort than being a guest. You need the right equipment, you need the right training, and you need the right uh, mindset in place. So let's just take those three things. So it's all about mindset. You have to be diligent and dedicated to doing your podcast. If you agree that you can do one a week or two a week or four a week or seven a week, you need to be in the right position in the mindset to know that you're committed to that and you need to deliver on that even when it gets hard, even when it gets tiring, even when it gets busy. You need to be able to deliver on a consistent basis. The next point I wanted to talk to you about was if you want to be a podcaster, then you need the right equipment and there is the right laptop, the right microphone, the right uh, uh, camera. 
but this does not need to spend loads of money on it. It really isn't an exercise of spending thousands and thousands of pounds. You can get the kit, um, excluding the, the laptop, which can be expensive. The microphone and the camera can be relatively reasonable. I'm thinking £100 each for the microphone and the camera. Um, so if you want to have your own podcast, then you can uh, be helped by me in a three hour training session, which I do uh, with people, which is an end to end process on understanding everything from your idea um, to 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 recording uh, to the equipment uh, to monetizing, um, if you so wish. And if you are interested in that, go to abmpodcastcourse.co.uk and you can register on their book online. Um, a callback from me, and uh, we will have a conversation about whether you uh, are suitable for the for the for the for the course. And equally, I will explain what is required from you uh, before and during the course. So, I just wanted to flag there. But as I said, I've been talked, I've been asked a few times today how to be a podcast guest and a podcaster. So, hopefully, in this in this podcast that I've just shared with you, you've got an idea on what is the most important things that you need to do to do that. And as I said go on to the two different websites um, if there if you are interested in either of these services thank you so much for your time i really appreciate it